think that the biggest problem with buying makeup that you love is the overwhelming amount of color choice. I mean, how do you know the colors that are going to look great on you before you commit to the purchase? Well, this is something that you and your color analyst can solve in an afternoon. So now you know your colors. What's the next biggest problem? Makeup testers. Hi, I'm Christine. I used to think that you have another choice would be a really good tagline for my website at 12 Blueprints so that people could know that they don't have to give up on makeup that they feel good wearing just because they don't identify with media's presentation of makeup. But then it came to me, that's the whole problem. You have too many choices and no guide for working your way through them. Well, my job is to help you make those great color decisions so the overwhelm goes away. Goes away and stays away. Well, how do you find out the colors that look great on you? You gotta know something about yourself. I mean your natural colors, the colors that are in you right now. You have a version of every color that would look fantastic if you wore it in clothes makeup and those are going to be your colors for your whole life. So don't wait till you're 60 to get this information because you're going to use it every time you buy something. Your natural colors are together for a reason. Why wouldn't your makeup colors be together for the same reason? When your makeup colors don't make sense with your natural colors, you feel something's off. You bought this lipstick because you wanted to wear lipstick for this occasion, but it's the best choice you could make. You weren't sure that it was the best choice at the counter that day. It was just the best choice that you know how to make. I think a situation that more women would recognize would be makeup colors that don't make sense with one another. You bought a lipstick to go with your hair color. Well, that would make sense. Your hair color is the biggest color block on your head, but uh, something didn't work. So then you warmed up your foundation, you changed your eyebrow color, you just get lost in the sauce of too many choices with no frame of reference. What is right and what can I compare everything else to back to that one thing so I know what to keep and what to get rid of. One of the most useful and I think instructive parts of a color analysis is when we paint the client's current makeup colors down one side of a page and her season colors down the other side of a page. She can see three things instantly. One is, what does it mean to say these colors are together for a reason? These colors all look better for being together. They make sense together. You've got to have a visual for that to really understand it. They look like notes of the same song, whereas her makeup colors on the other side of the page, they look like notes of different songs. They have no reason for being together. The second thing she can see is her frame of reference, how she's going to compare the color she owns to the season colors and how she's going to have criteria for deciding what can stay, what never loved her back, and it can go. And the third thing that she can see is I am here and I need to get there. So knowing where you are, and knowing where you need to go is the only way to make progress at anything without the curtain in between that says how the world should be according to YouTube, how the world should be according to my friends, how the world should be, you know, according to my 17 year old self, how the world should be. Not helpful. Where am I? Where do I need to go? There's the size of the gap. This is the cross I need to make. Very, very useful thing to do. So now you know your season. Your makeup colors just found you. Next hardest thing, makeup testers. This is going to be difficult in the world going forward. They'll change, but you want to know before you commit to full-size product, what are the colors you feel good wearing? What are the formulations you feel good wearing? So today in the shop at 12 Blueprints, I am introducing sample sets. You will be able to try a sample of all the colors for your season. Some seasons have more colors, they will have more samples, it's reflected in the price. But you'll try the lipsticks, the blush, the contours, the eyeshadows. And what are you going to be able to do with that? You'll get your sample set and you will be an artist who will paint all those colors on a page and look at what it means to say they're together for a reason. 
you will be able to compare colors you want to buy in current retail, paint them on a piece of paper if that's allowed, bring it home and see if it'll slide into your palette that you drew, uh, that you made on your chart. Try product before you buy it. Find the colors and formulations you like. Do you like sheer lip colors? Do you like matte? Do you like opaque? Do you like light, dark? Try them all and see ahead of time. You can make little mixtures too because I think that in many seasons and with many of the products, the mixtures are actually more interesting, more dimensional when they are mixed together. Not every mixture works, but a lot of them do. A couple of other things. Colors are discontinued all the time and for some reason this pandemic has really interrupted supply chains for cosmetic pigments. So you may try a color, then you go to buy the full size product it's discontinued. Well, that's the reality of cosmetic purchasing anywhere, anytime, I think. And the second one is that there may be colors become available that were not in your set. The great thing about the set and then reading the product descriptions for those colors and you, you get an idea of what it is that I'm describing so that as new colors come in next week, next month, next year, you have a better sense of what you can expect from the, the color, the product, and you know that if your set worked well for you, incoming colors are probably going to work well too. Various seasons have some new products. Soft Summer has a new gloss and a new eyeshadow, accent eyeshadow called Somber. True Summer has a new lip gloss. Spring, True Spring has a new lip gloss called Watermelon. It's more like melon, but maybe it's not, not as pink as what I think of watermelon. Dark Winter has a new lip gloss called Slay. I would have liked to put the least I can do on the label instead, but you know, that costs extra, so I didn't do it. But the color is really good. You put it on, it just goes into your face, and it doesn't really do much except just put a, a mouth on your face. So I hope that you will enjoy playing with the colors, learning about your season, and finding some products that you like wearing. I'm always here to answer questions, either here at YouTube or on the website at 12 Blueprints. The blog post that goes with this video is on the screen now. It will also be linked in the description box. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.